Hey everyone, as you've seen from the title, next week is going to be a great week for Halo Infinite. We are finally getting an update to the Squad Battle playlist, and this is going to bring 7 new maps to Squad Battle. I do believe this is going to count as Squad Battle's refresh, and while it hasn't been announced by 343 themselves, it has been announced by some pretty reputable people. For example, we have Rebs Gaming, who is always accurate with anything coming to Halo Infinite, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you'll know of Technical Halo, who always drops info about stuff coming to Halo Infinite, and he has said we are going to get 6 new maps plus Behemoth. We do have have a tiny bit of info on the maps we can expect to see next week, but I can't lie, I'm pretty intrigued by Behemoth being in this playlist. I think Behemoth has never really worked that well with regular 4v4. I think it would work much better for 6v6, but I'm really excited to see how it's going to play with 8v8. That's also one of the reasons why a lot of Halo fans love Squad Battle. It's the only mode that feels like proper Halo BTB. I do like Halo Infinite's 12v12 version, but 8v8 is a staple of Halo, and I'm really curious to know how Behemoth is going to play with 16 players. Now, the other six maps are going to be 4 maps, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone, as the current squad battle maps are of course made in Forge, and they already play really well. Right now I can tell you three of the seven squad battle maps coming next week, but the other four are a mystery to everyone. So besides Behemoth, we have Perdition and Rendezvous. Now of course, Perdition is a map remake from Halo 4. The Forge map looks really good, as you guys can see on the screen. In terms of vehicles, it's going to be very similar to Rat's Nest, with some Warthogs and a Ghost. Now the map Rendezvous looks like something out of Halo 3 ODST, and I do think it's going to be a really fun map in squad battle. In terms of vehicles, I do believe it's going to be the Ghost and Warthog again, and that's because it's a bit too close quarters for a Scorpion or Wraith to work. I am hoping the four other squad battle maps have a bit more vehicular action with Banshees, Scorpions, and Wraiths. With that said, I'm just really happy to hear that squad battle is receiving a good update next week. That is something really cool to look forward to, and for a lot of us Halo fans, that is our favourite playlist in the game, so I can't wait for that. And make sure you drop a like on the video if you're keen for this update too. Now guys, if you want to become a member of the channel, you can do so for 99 cents. You'll have an energy sword that changes colour the longer you remember, and a bunch of Halo emojis you can use in the chat and comments of my videos. It's only 99 cents to do and it'll be supporting me a great deal, but of course guys, it is completely optional, so don't feel stressed or pressured to do it, but if you do, please make sure you let me know by dropping a comment so I can see that beautiful energy sword next to your name. Thank you guys so much for all the great support, it means the world, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.